The Civil War is almost done, so it's up to Lincoln and Johnson to somehow reunite the nation. So Reconstruction had begun. Lincoln's new plan to declare that Southerners only had to swear not to secede to create their own government or cause warfare. This made the radical Republicans take to thought for giving Confederates would bring back the aristocracy and was just total stupidity. It's these radicals that Lincoln fought a compromise is what he saw, but his policies came to an end when John Booth shot him in the head. Since Lincoln's dead now, Andrew Johnson has to take his spot, but it turns out that he is a very racist snot. He appointed men who were all white to form Southern governments and to write the black codes at the speed of light, which would eventually come back to bite. Johnson's career really went downhill when he vetoed the Civil Rights Bill, so Congress fought back and overrode him. His electability got really slim. Over time, the movement lost all its support. People didn't want to pay for it, and they wanted to abort. All the former slaves were losing all their rights. They were feeling that the Ku Klux Klan would take them in the night. Rutherford B. Hayes, his election almost died. So the North and the South had to make a compromise. The North agreed to terminate Reconstruction. And the South agreed to give B. Hayes the entire election.